all right everybody welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing can every rank 1v2 the rank below them so we've got pc here our bronze player up against slash and uber our two copper players let me know down in the comments who you guys think is going to win and let's hop straight into the first round here all right so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a split push here uber is outside of front door and slash is all the way backside pushing bunker now pc is just still reinforcing he's luckily was able to place all of his capcan traps down before the prep phase was over so that is good but he's gonna have to deal with uber who's now pushing down freezer stairs and i'm not sure if pc is ready for that just yet but a split push is going to be hard for a pc to deal with as just going to be too many angles for him to hold slash gonna get wall banged great shots by pc that's also going to be the diffuser so it's all up to uber to clutch this round out and i don't know if pc knows that he's just to his left he doesn't and uber will take round number one for his team the coppers are going to win versus the bronze in round number one all right pc going to be opting for the upstairs bomb site this time we'll see if it's going to work out for him he's going to be trying to do a master spawn peak but fortunately for a slash and uber he will not be able to get any sort of kills going to fall back to the site now and we're just going to have to wait and see what the attack wants to do here uber actually already inside of trophy right now slash a little bit behind so this could be an opportunity for pc to get a kill here as uber is already all the way in sight slash still all the way outside not even using his dokubi call which would be very helpful for uber right now pc has a 1v1 he should definitely try to take it but he lost his opportunity to take the 1v1 gunfight and now slash is in the site he's gonna have to deal with that somehow and he's gonna blow himself up with a c4 <sighs> well I don't know if that was the play listen if you guys are making plays like pc just did right there consider checking out the link in the description to six shot academy come play ranked with me later tonight uber opting for an ash rush this round into the garage door Let's see if this works out for him or not slash gonna be, gonna be pushing on the master balcony pc just gonna be holding down dorms though with the smoke <clears throat> Uber once again pushing very swiftly up onto white stairs and he's going to be trying to push right into sight right now. He's he's going to be throwing some smokes trying to stop the push in. Uber's on the big window though. Slash once again droning leaving his teammate behind and well Uber's going to take a lot of damage because of that but he's going to swing in take PC out anyways and wow this is not a good start at all. The coppers 3-0 now. The chances for the solo player to win one of these games only increases with each game we play because the player gets better and better each time. So for example, when we get all the way up to like diamond, for example, it's going to be a diamond versus two emeralds and a diamond player honestly might have a pretty good shot at beating two emeralds. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, right now it's not looking too great for PC, but honestly, you can't expect much out of him man he's against two players and he's about the same elo interesting strat here from slash i'm interested to see what this is all about all right pc in the big tower now attempting to push this attic wall but he's struggling a little bit as uber driver is randomly shooting through it Ooh, a great shot from pc to take out uber now this could be a great opportunity or PC to win his first round. He's gonna open up some head holes here in the attic wall. Trying to get an angle down towards pit, but Slash just now rotating there. No C4 on the mute. Two jammers still in hand, but he's playing close with the shoddy. PC, I don't know if he knows this or not, but he's wary of a flank, but certainly no one's flanking. All right, droning the head holes. Surely he's going to check the corners and realize, yes, he will. Now it's an easy wall bang, or it's not going to be as Slash somehow gets away in the stand-up and the peek through the attic wall. That will be the Coppers winning 4-0 against the Bronze. GG. Hmm. All righty, everybody. Welcome back. We are here with the Silver Game now. 
We've got E Danger for our silver versus our two bronze players. We've got PC still here as one of the bronzes. And we've got a new player as well, Unforgettable, joining him. So we'll see if PC can maybe take a win here against Danger. So far, half the drones have already been shot. Danger was able to take out two in prep phase, and now it's going to be a third here. So the attack only have one more drone, but luckily, Unforgettable was able to open up the main armory breach, and it looks like PC is maybe going to try to go for a nade from below. But unfortunately for him, Danger is not half wall. Both nades gone from PC now as he misses them while trying to get a kill from below. Unforgettable going to rotate off of the breach, actually. Two minutes left, so they have plenty of time to make a new sort of push if they'd like to. Metal door is barricaded, so Danger won't have to worry about it too much. But Unforgettable is not even going to be worried about metal. He's switching over to an office take, but Danger knows this, and he's going to hold the angle, and he's going to be winning that gunfight. Ace goes down, and now it's all up to PC. He's got the health advantage here, and I believe he has no drones. Standstill here as the clock ticks away, and PC wastes a lot of valuable time holding an angle. Danger knows that all he has to do is hold an angle and wait for the swing, but wow, surprisingly, PC will swing and actually take out Danger. Nice, nice shot even going out in chat. What a nice shot it was, but... PC finally picking up a dub, and he's the one to get the kill to do it as well, but that'll be the bronzes picking up the first round, but you can already see the trend. Danger almost won that. He was able to take out Unforgettable, almost took out PC. The games are about to get good. Danger struggling to set up the site still a whole minute into the round. PC going to take advantage of this, and he's already got customs control pushing up towards lobby. Unforgettable still outside, possibly looking to rotate by the teller's window. Zero cams and drones being shot out here by Danger as he patiently awaits the push that is undoubtedly about to come. PC trying to push up into the lobby now, and he might be trying to go for his second kill of the game here. A nade comes out, and he's definitely going to be throwing that straight to the position of Danger, but he actually misses, almost kills himself, but Danger doesn't think to, re to move his lo location at all. Fortunately, the nade misses again. PC fails to take him out, but unforgettable able to rotate down the east stairs into the teller's window now. And he might be able to just take sight. He's going to do just that as he hops in. And looks like he could try to go for a plant here as he does have the bomb. PC swings the hallway and a gunfight ensues between them. But Danger is going to win it out. Unforgettable hops off the plant at the last second. Tries to swing the hall, and he will win the gunfight. Two rounds in a row for the bronze players. Unforgettable shoots down the passport door, and it looks like he might be trying to push passport as he throws his twitch drone towards that direction, and Danger will blow up his C4 on the wall. But unfortunately for him, Unforgettable's drone will be just fine. Twitch drone taking out all of these Goyos. This is bad news for Danger as he's all the way off site and cannot put a stop to this. So Unforgettable definitely going to be taking out pretty much all of the utility here on site. That's going to leave Danger just with his gun to try to win this round. He sees all the way upstairs inside of CCTV just above customs where Danger is at and oh wow unforgettable swings but Danger holding the head angle that he wasn't prepared for unforgettable will go down a great shot by Danger and he's looking to win his first round here cluster charges go out into the site but unforgettable already used his twitch drone to take out all of the goyos and the other utility and Danger is nowhere to be seen in the site so this will prove to be useless for PC but he's going to keep two of his cluster charges and try to rotate some drones around for his teammate to watch 50 seconds left so pc is quickly running out of time here as danger is just sitting patiently inside of the server room 
waiting for PC to make a move. He does have breed charges, so he could use these to get the hatch open and try to drop straight into the site. Instead, it looks like he's going to try to push maybe towards waiting down east stairs. The danger is already ready for this. He's already aiming towards the stairs. Who's going to win this gunfight? Danger sees PC. They both see each other. Some shots go out. PC actually is going to land a few of them. And wow, a whiff at first, but PC picks up another dub and another kill. And that's a 2-1 lead for the bronze players. Or 3-0 lead, sorry. 3-0, that's actually crazy. Danger says I'm just not good enough. <laughs> nah, bro, it's just, it's just hard, man. It's just really hard to 1v2 in this sort of situation because we have to understand as well as in Danger's... In like a in like a normal 1v2 situation, Danger would have had like four other teammates to like watch cams or have placed reinforcements, made rotates, place utility. So not having all of that makes the 1v2 like 10 times harder. Pretty good drone spots here coming out from Danger. He's gonna hide this one inside of archives. Smart move. I see he's gonna be able to use this later and Oh, unfortunate. He had a dead jump and it didn't carry him all the way up and he's going to lose that drone. Unfortunately, PC going for his spawn peak, but unfortunately for him, Danger's going to be pushing all the way by the break room door. Unforgettable still trying to set up the site and I'm interested to see if Danger can pull through with at least one round here. Remember, we are on match point, so if Danger would like to win this game, he needs to win right here. Now, Danger doesn't know it yet, but he might in a second as he is droning now. PC is off-site, so Danger has a 1v1 with Unforgettable on-site. So he could try to take the 1v1. That is the best option he could do right now. PC rotating from Customs up through the East Stairs now. Unforgettable just holding on the lockers while Danger is going to be using his Hard Breach gadget to open up the Armory Wall. And a C4 comes out and... Narrowly kills Danger, but it's not going to happen. He actually gets the kill onto Unforgettable. And it's all left to PC, who's actually flanking him right now. And I don't know if Danger knows this, but he's got to be careful because there are some holes in this door right now. And he's going to know now as PC starts to shoot through the holes. And I'm not sure who's going to win this. Danger's on very low HP. But the site is open. If Danger can just get into it. He's going to be holding an angle though that I'm not sure PC is going to expect. As he tries to rotate out. This could be the free kill for Danger. But it's not going to happen as he misses the timing. PC trying to peek the window again. Gives the opportunity for Danger to run into sight. And plant lockers. He's going to hop off of it as the Oryx dash gets PC a lot closer than Danger was expecting. And here comes the gunfight. Danger runs out of ammo. The new reload system going to be a hindrance for him. The swing comes out in danger, narrowly, narrowly surviving. I cannot actually believe what just happened there. All right, danger just outside of East Stairs, going to be droning into Archives, and he's surely going to run into Unforgettable, who's playing inside a fountain. He's going to shoot the drone now, and danger going to be trying to open up the office single wall, and a swing is going to come from Unforgettable. That's going to fully open up the window now. PC just going to be holding down the bomb site right now while Unforgettable goes for this kill. Prone on the angle. Will Danger know this? He won't. He's going to take some damage as Unforgettable hits him with an angle he wasn't expecting. Minute and 40 seconds. So Danger really does have time if he wants to push somewhere else. And looks like he might try to do just that. He's going to breach charge the door. But surely Unforgettable still knows that he's close. And a jump out is going to happen from Unforgettable who will finally take out Danger. And that's going to be a 4-1 win for the bronze players. GG's. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, consider subscribing. And if you guys are already subscribed, turn notifications on and like the video. It would mean a lot to me. But let's move straight on to our next game here. All right, here we go. We've got King, our gold player, versus Danger and Bean for our two silver players. Let me know what you think the score is going to be down in the comments. I think this game is going to be pretty good here. Okay, so Beanie is already in. Along with Danger, they're actually pushing together pretty well right now. And you can see that Beanie is using his gadget extremely well from below. Able to just take out most of the cap traps here. And wow, he can actually see King himself. On cams, he just pinged it, but he actually could have started floor banging that position. 
With that being said, though, King is going to push up to the hallway and... Ooh, a little bit of a whiff shot, but danger is going to be set to about one HP now. And King's going for it. He wants the kill, but it's not going to work out as dangerous on that head glitch. And he's going to take King out for round number one. So the Silvers take round one here on Villa. All right, Danger is droning out the bomb site as King has decided to go trophy statuary. But King is actually all the way downstairs, pretty much uh, by pantry stairs right now. So Danger is going to call that the site is clear and Beanie might be able to hop in and try to take site. But King is here on the Astro stairs trying to retake what he lost. Beanie is going to hop in, but King was watching on the pixel angle just inside a bathroom and Beanie, Beanie will swing again and he will take out King. Unfortunate for King. Looks like Danger is below right now. Trying to go for some Z pings for a potential nade from below and hopefully king moves he's going to as he is going to get naded if he tries to stand still Eni is on lion as well so he could try to go for a lion scan they could try to teamwork this and have king stand still and if so that could be bad news for king he's standing still and here comes the nade the lion scan comes out and Danger is prepping the nade, but King smartly moves and he will avoid the nade once again. I respect the teamwork that Beanie and Danger tried pulling off right there, though. I will say. Minute and 45 seconds left, though. They burnt a lot of time trying to do that now, and King is still just patiently in sight. That's one drone shot out and Danger's going to take a little bit of damage, actually turning into a lot of damage. And now he's dead as King will take him out. And oh, wow. Beanie is all the way inside of study right now. He's going to throw some flashbangs in, try to push in towards maps. King is only on one HP. So you're probably going to see Beanie be very, very aggressive here. The pre-fires come out, but King is going to clutch it out. No match point for the silver players. Let's go. Well played to King. Alright, the sides have swapped, so King is no longer on defense. He's going to be on attack. So let's see if he's able to clutch out another round and tie things up 2-2 two to two here. Headhole's on the wrong wall, but it doesn't matter because Danger will do a little bit of damage to King. Bringing him near half HP now as he's going to be trying to nade from underneath. But he's just going to blow himself up. I'm not even really sure what he was trying to nade right there, but... Either way, that is another round for the Silvers. All right, interestingly, King has decided to go Ying, and it looks like he might be trying to do an aggressive push here onto Master. Beanie is all the way 90 Hall right now, so that leaves Danger all by himself to hold off against the push from King. King trying to swing onto the statue door here that Danger is holding. Some missed pre-fires from both players. Ella Mines are going to go out to cover the window. And Beanie has rotated all the way back to sight now. But King has hopped in. And he's trying to aggressively take some control here. He sees the Ella Mine. He's got the Candela in hand. And looks like he's going to go for the push here. He does see the head of Beanie. And he's going to grab it. King, nice kill by him. He's looking to win this game. Missed shots from Danger. King's going to put Danger on about 1 HP now. It's not looking good for him whatsoever. He also has 3 Candelas that he could use, but he doesn't even need them he's, as he's going to get the headshot. And King, the first person to win two rounds in the video so far. Well played to him. All right, the site is Kitchen, and it looks like King is going to be trying to push in through the pantry stairs. Beanie has his back turned to it, so this could be a good kill for King. Oh, he's going to accidentally shoot, though, and I believe both players heard that now. So, surely they're going to know that he's on the pantry stairs. A smoke grenade comes out, and uh, oh, no. I think Beanie could see King, but King couldn't see Beanie. Unfortunate, but that's going to be a GG. 4-2, to two, though. But as you can see, the trend is that the solo player is starting to be able to win more often. I think the games are only going to get better from here. 
All right, we're moving up. We've got Nandos, our plat player, and he's here against King, our previous gold player, and Burning, another gold player. And we're going to see if Nandos can be the one to win the solo 1v2 game. We're here on Chalet. You can see he's already got like a decent little setup going on. He's got most of the site set up pretty well. He's got his utility all placed down, and you can tell. Nandos looks like one of the best players we've had here so far. I got high hopes for this game because of this, guys. King has already hopped in. Hot mezzanine. Got the wall open and everything. Burning is trying to drone out the site right now, but Nandos is just going to be holding inside of Piano. Burning is going to drone out his location, though, and he's going to call that out to King, who's now pushed up on the Piano double door, and Nandos knows that. He's going to swing, and that's going to be a little bit of damage onto King. Burning going to hop off the drone and try to push in now as he hops in. Ooh, he could have wall banged Nandos right there, but he hops into the site and he doesn't have the bomb. So he actually can't play here, but a nade is going to be so perfect. It lands straight on Nando's feet. Beautiful nade coming out from Burning, and that's going to be round number one lost for Nando's. Unfortunate. All right, King is going to open up the main snowmobile breach. Nando's holding strong inside of blue while King tries to get open the single wall. That's going to expose an angle all the way into wine now. Nando's going to rotate off of sight though and off to push above instead. He has no C4 to create any holes through the floor and he's not playing Solas to try to shoot them through the floor if they go to plant. He is trying to swing out this window but unfortunately for him, King is and burning are deep into sight and they are planting inside of wine right now a minute and 30 seconds left king is going to place down some claymores and burning is going to get into his first engagement of the round against nandos on the main stairs nandos is going to be the one who wins it though as burning gets taken out and now it's all up to king who is yet to get a kill this game as we're only in our second round can he do it here almost yep yes he can King is going to get the kill to Nandos, and that'll be the second round here. All right, looks like we're going to have a sneaky rush push here coming from the attack. Nandos, this is his last round on defense. He really needs to win this if he wants to avoid match point. He's not going to see the drone that's right above his head, and those calls are going to be given straight to King. He's pushing up, and he's going to get the wall bang onto Nandos. And, well, like I mentioned, it's going to be now match point for the gold players. Speaking of gold players, gold is one of the most common ranks in Siege. So if you are a low rank such as silver, gold, bronze, copper, whatever it may be, consider joining Six Shot Academy with the link in the description. We've got all of your favorite content creators involved such as Jinxie, Braxion, Athena, Pigeon, the list goes on and on. We play nightly ranked games, TMs, we also do coaching, we have a course with videos made by pro players, myself, Athena. Reactions cooking up some videos for it as well. So if you guys are looking for a place to find like-minded players, play with them, improve with them, get a nice five stack, get out of the solo queue trenches and actually improve, consider joining Six Shot. The link will be down below. All right, Nando's taking a second to drone out the backside here to ensure that it is clear. But with burning shooting through the door here, he's going to decide that maybe it's not worth it. And he's going to rotate towards the front door now. Two minutes left, so he's got plenty of time to play vertical or make a different sort of push if he chooses to. He needs to be careful, though, as Burning is already rotating upstairs, and he's going to be able to flank pretty quickly. Nando's still worried to go in. He's playing this more like he's in a 1v5 than a 1v2, if I'm going to be honest. Close right is going to be Burning on the west main stairs. He could easily flank here, which is sort of what I'm worried about. And that looks like exactly what he's about to do here as Nando pushes down the blue stairs and Burning is flanking from the downing hall right now. King just holding down sight. I'm not sure exactly where he's at. It looks like he's on the single wall in, inside of Wine. I don't know if he knows it yet, but Nando's is in blue. Burning definitely doesn't seem to know it as he's holding above. And now this really could be bad for King as... He's on cams, and if he picks the wrong cam, he might not know that Nandos is right here. One minute left. Nandos has to make his move. 
Surely the, the defenders are confused on where he's at, but King pings blue and he's gonna get taken out though. On in the hands of Nando, so he could plant if he'd like to. Bernie going to be rotating from blue into snowmobile now. Swinging through the rotate. Nando's is going to choose to plant the bomb. He's going to get off with only two seconds left, though, as he thinks that Burning is pushing, but he's really not. And instead, Nando's is going to push himself, but he's on low HP. Goes for the wall bank, but he's going to miss. Pistols are out, and Burning clutches it out anyways. 4 0. -oh. Wow. He had a gone six. Nando's had a gone six instead of a pistol. He should have used his secondary shotgun in that instance, but either way, good try from Nando's. Let's move on to the diamond game. All right, here we go with round number one. We've got True Craze as our Emerald player versus Nando's and Ice Maker, our two plats. We'll see if maybe the Emerald is the one that's going to finally win a game. We'll see what happens here. Ice Maker already hitting this 90 window in an engagement with True Craze, but True Craze will actually be doing a little bit of damage onto Ice Maker, so good start for Craze. Nandos is already pushed up on the upper bridge, though, and he's going to be Iana cloning. Craze will take that out, but he's going to have to be careful as Ice Maker's plans to push from this kill box door. Here comes a nade from Nandos. That's going to take out maybe the C4 that Craze placed. Ice Maker opening up the red wall. Now trying to throw some stuns towards top red so they could possibly push up. But wow, an interesting play by True Craze. He runs out of the kill box door and well, he gets taken out by the Zofia who it's a nice 180 shot on him. Nando's droning out the sky bridge. He's going to see that that is mostly clear but he's not going to be able to get in through the window as he didn't open up the barricade first so it's a little bit of a waste of utility there ice maker is trying to push up on the kill box door but these arunis are stopping him from pushing up any further i do like the aruni play here from craze but he's got to be careful as ice maker was holding these head holes just on that wall nandos now has taken sky bridge control and oh no craze does not know this and he'll get taken out very unfortunate Drew Craze using his C4 for some reason on the site hatch. I'm guessing so. He's able to quickly rotate back to site as he suspects a possible trench push from the attackers, which is sort of what they're doing right now as Nandos bucks the door and runs in, but Craze will punish him, leaving Ice Maker alone to clutch this 1v1. Craze definitely wants to win this round here as he does not want the plats to get on match point. They're both alt walking towards each other. Who's going to win the gunfight? It'll be Ice Maker with the better crosshair placement who takes out Craze. And, well, that match point like I was talking about is here. Listen, if you guys think you could do better in these 1v2s, then consider joining my Discord. It's completely free for you to join. The link will be down below in the description. Consider joining. I add everybody in my Discord when I record these videos. So if you'd like to be a part of a future video or you think that you could do better, then link in the description. Once again, it's completely free to join. A spawn peek here from Nandos, narrowly missing the shot onto True Craze, who's got the 1.5. Surely he wins this over a suppressed SMG 11. True Craze just going to decide to completely rotate off of the angle. Same with Nandos, deciding that it is too risky. Ice Maker checking cams, trying to get a ping on True Craze's location. An EMP on the wall to disable the jammer, but it won't matter as he has nothing to get the actual wall open anyways. Some swings coming out from the kill box door, but both players are playing fairly safe in sight. Kray is going to take a little bit of damage through those prone holes, and Nando wants to spice things up and swing, and he'll get taken out for doing so as Kray takes him out just outside the kill box door. Ice Maker prone, trying to hold the walk-in from these head holes, or these floor holes. Craze tries to drone it out, but his EMP missed the second jammer. It's going to stop him from being able to drone any further, but he gets the info with his Osa shield, and he's going to use that advantage or that opportunity to push in now. Ice Maker is holding behind the bomb right now. He's doing a little bit of damage to Craze, and he's going to push up now, getting more and more aggressive, but he's going to have to get the kill here, and he does. Craze gets taken out. 4-0. GG. So far, no one has been the one. 
to win. I'm a little bit disappointed, man. Maybe the diamond will be different. Let's see. All right, here we are with Nebula, our diamond player, up against Yesersky and Chris, our two Emerald players. Let me know who you guys think are going to win down in the comments, but right now we've got Yesersky pushing up towards the rafters already. Looks like Chris is going to be droning him in right now, so we could be seeing a full garage push right now as Chris is just outside of the garage door trying to push into rafters. Nebula, our diamond player, going to be holding strong inside of CCTV. Just trying to stop the attackers from pushing into garage. But yes, Sersky is going to rotate and try to grab a different angle onto Nebula. And Chris is going to take this opportunity to walk up the rafter stairs. And he's going to get tagged a little bit as Nebula is going to be swung on from yes, Sersky on this CCTV window. And Nade goes out and Nebula is going to have to walk away from this. Both Nades exploding now, but... Yes, Sersky going to grab the shots and honestly an unfortunate position that Nebula was set into, but he is going to lose round number one. All right, so Nebula has opted to go for the gym bedroom bomb site instead of CCTV. So yes, Sersky just getting up to the roof, realizing this, and they're going to have to figure out a way to get into the site now with no hard breacher and no hard breach gadget on Buck. They will not be able to go through the jacuzzi wall that Nebula has now reinforced here. So instead, it looks like they're going to be trying to go through the windows. Yes, Sersky opening up the gym window. And Nebula throwing some shots out through it. Chris getting an angle onto Nebula, but a great shot from Nebula will take him out. And now it's all left to Yes, Sersky if he can clutch it out. Gonna hop straight into the window now. And ooh, perfect crosshair placement. Is going to destroy Nebula, and that's two rounds in a row now for the Emerald players. All right, Nebula losing using his last defense round here to go back to CCTV. We'll see if it's going to work out for him. He's holding some pretty good angles, but no one is going to be pushing from below, at least not from stock. Yes, Sersky already has top Raptors control, and Chris has opened up the CCTV balcony. So, so far. Nebula is in a tough spot. The drones are getting shot out from both players on the attack now. So they're going to be down to one drone on Chris, but it won't matter as yes, Sersky will swing the Raptors window and just take Nebula out. No problem. Great shot. All right, match point. This is Nebula's chance to try and bring things back here going to be difficult as he is playing against two players on a clubhouse defense and he does not have the utility needed to really clear anything so it's going to come down to these gunfights here can he just beat out the emerald players in pure mechanical skill or maybe use his game sense in the nades to his advantage which it looks like he's trying to do by trying to nade underneath but unfortunately for him no one is playing in a position where he can nade from underneath Nebula's drone being shot out. It's going to have a little bit less info now, but he did collect some, and he's going to use that to push up the red stairs, but unfortunately for him, Chris is waiting at the top, and, well, he's going to get taken out, and another 4-0, ladies and gentlemen. How unfortunate. I wonder how I'm going to fare in our next game. Postcard might be a crazy play. <laughs> I think I think I sci fake, but instead of instead of having fuck, I was gonna play Mozzie. Instead of the site being downstairs, I go I go um Coast Guard and then I like go over. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Alright, let's hope that they don't drone that. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to site just in case. <laughs> Maybe I double fake them out. They don't know. I trolled them. I trolled them. They don't know, Chris. They don't know. <laughs> Now's where you hit the getaway. Oh shit, bro. We're out of there.
Honestly, I'm worried about yellow stairs. No! He was repelled on sight window. Dude, I couldn't pinpoint where the lion was, bro. Ah, oh, that's how I died. I should have went prone, man. It's all good. I feel like I, I didn't kill anybody, you know? But, like, I put up a good fight, you know what I'm saying? I trolled them with the sight fake. They had no clue. Oh, I didn't know he's gonna swing. Damn. Bro, this is hard. It really is. I thought he was further back, to be honest. Like, I thought he was closer to the door, so I wasn't expecting a swing. God, I almost killed him. No! I forgot I opened that whole wall. Uh, he's on one HP, dude. Why didn't I? Why didn't I hu like hug the concrete wall, man? I could have hugged the concrete wall and killed him easy. Ah, uh, I don't even know where the bomb is. I'm just assuming the top floor. I'm gonna run around until I find him. That's interesting. Oh wow. I said runouts are good and look at look at all the runouts. <laughs> Thank god, these guys have a problem. That's him! No! Oh. GG. So no one can 1v2 the rank below them, Craze. Literally no one. Dude, it's just so difficult. You don't have any time for any mistakes. Yeah. You can't make any mistakes at all. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed I didn't even at least get some kills. 